Welcome to the best small business podcast. This is episode 273, Stop Planning for a Recession. I'm Rich G. And I'm BJ Flagg, and I love this topic. I mean, everybody, everybody has been saying, oh my gosh, we feel like we have been planning for a recession since 2020. Yeah, it, it's it's it seems like all the major financial CEOs are out there, like Jamie Dimon and stuff, are almost <laughs> wanting a recession to happen. Exactly, they're trying to will it. They're trying to will it to happen, and okay. I feel like we just need to get into it and discuss it. Let's we, go. We all know. We all know that they have shorted all the big businesses, <laughs> so they they want a recession to happen. So they make money through it. So and you, can't you, fool us. It. you can't fool us small businesses out there. So I know. We're much smarter than you think. Action one. You don't know how it will affect your business. Okay. <laughs> so stop holding your breath. So too oh. many of us are holding our breath right now. Like oh, something's going to happen. Oh, my God. We're like uh, that dog in up uh, squirrel. You know, we're getting distracted. <laughs> like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. And, you know, and too many businesses are just like hovering in place. Like they're freezing. They're freezing. They literally think that's a good idea. Good strategy move. I'm going to not do anything. I'm not going to do anything. And I'm just going to hover, hover, hover. And right. while my competition is just moving forward. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, let, let's lay it out. We're all scared. We're very scared. But there's being scared or being cognizant of something that might happen. And then there's being afraid of the dark. It's like, there's nothing out there, but we just keep, you know, okay, I'm going to just stay under my bed with my covers over my head or something. <laughs> right. Right. And you know what? Nobody can predict the future, but you surely aren't going to do it with negativity. You know, yeah. like the more negative you are and the more you think, Oh, here it comes. That's not good. It's not good. It's just not going to have the result that you want. Yeah, it's it, it's crazy. So what's our second action, BJ? Keep doing what you're doing, but kick it up a notch. You know, I, I look at a lot of the small businesses that come in and they are tightening back on their marketing budget. They're going to, you know, they're hoarding their money. Like, stop being Scrooge. Just get in there. Do that marketing plan that you were going to do. Get that business plan going the direction you want it to go and concentrate on that. You know, your competition is going to do it and they're going to eat your lunch. I know. <laughs> they're going to eat your lunch. It's it's so funny. Start looking at growing your team. How can you grow your team? How can you grow your, your physical plant, your building? How do you grow your inventory? And, and I'm not saying go crazy, but it don't look at everything from an area of scarcity, start changing the philosophy to an area of abundance. Yeah. And, you know, and look at it in, from the terms of like, you know, you've got all these balls up in the air. You created the business plan for this year. Don't freeze on it. Start catching those balls. Start doing the things. Be more engaged in your business. Don't let it get to your head. It's absolutely the best way to go. Yeah, too often when uh, all the balls are in the air in a corporate aspect or a small business aspect, people tend to run like, oh, my God, the, the sky is falling. And <laughs> right. it's like the smart people are catching those balls. They're seeing oh, yeah. okay, there are opportunities out here for me to really take advantage of the situation right now. Yeah. And don't let your competitors catch those balls. Yeah. Anybody can catch the balls. Yeah. You gotta be in there grabbing them. Yeah, you have to grab those balls. So anyhow, action <laughs> three, be brave. Strike out and take a new stand and blaze a new trail. Okay. This is where we want you to go. Where do you really want to take your business? This is the time to do it right now. Yeah. Uh, and you know, and do you feel a lot of times people will say, pull it all back? Pull yeah. it all back. Right. Yeah. And if you're the one who's sitting there saying, absolutely not, I'm going to blaze those trails. Do you realize that suppliers are going to have additional inventory? 
yeah. they are for you. Your vendors are going to have additional inventory. And just go with it. It's the best to do it at that time. It's it's so true. You have there are opportunities out there. And this is a great time to start to look at. Like I just launched a new product line. I'm doing 360 leadership assessments for companies. And a lot of people are going, How could you do this? You know, we're almost in a recession right now. And I go, I'm not waiting around. I'm gonna launch this new product. You know, oh, yeah. Area. Best time. Best time to do it. And and think about just what it, type of strategy you're doing you're there trying to infuse into that company this mindset this yeah. ability to be able to infuse in their you know in their staff it's it's just such a great thing um yeah, bad times you know, are some of the best times to strike out think of most companies that you know of today started during recessions they, they, they started out and you're like, oh, this is the worst time to start a business. No, there's never a good time. There's never a bad time. It's just start your business or do right. something new. Yeah. These are people who left corporate because there was a massive, um, you know, everybody got fired yeah. and they came up. They've been trying to think of this idea for five years and they finally are going to do it. It's during a recession, you know, but also look. Look back at your employees, right? You know, yeah. what can your employees do for you? Yeah. Are your clients telling you something that you should be listening to? Are they asking for things? Um, it's frustrating because there are lots of companies that, well, I'm not going to change anything. I'm not going to get a new POS system, or I'm not going to do this, or I'm not going to change my website or anything. I don't have time or money right now. And your clients yeah. are going, like a big one, I, I, I might talk about this a lot, are banks. It's like, go to a bank website. They all suck. They all, I know. They, have, they, they, all have, stink. they have no idea what they're doing. Restaurant websites. It's like, you want three things, location, menu, and uh, uh, hours, hours of opening, right. or how to set a reservation. The easier that you make it, the better. I can't tell you how many web... Uh, restaurant websites that don't have the menu up there, you know, oh or they have the menu God. and no prices. I'm like, and you can't find anything. Yeah, yeah, it's just absolutely crazy. They have three locations, but not their fourth one, the one you want to go to. Yeah, it's it's a crazy one. Um, but you know, action four is be agile. If something does happen, you're going to be ready for it. Don't yeah. get all freaked out about it. You just lived through a pandemic. You can do anything. Don't worry about that. Yeah, I've congratulated every one of my businesses saying, congratulations, you made it through one of the worst times in history to have a business right now, and you come out the other end. Think about all those businesses that failed, that went under. During yeah. the You've made it. You made it out through the pandemic. Yeah, and why is that? because they had confidence in themselves, yeah. right? You know, and uh, that's how I feel about it. They they have that winning confidence of saying, I know I can make this happen. That's what you started your business on, is that, that innate confidence that at that time, you might have been faking it. But at this time, you really do. You have years of experience. There, There's something I take my clients through where I have them, you know, I call it... A, internal obstacles and these are the things that we have in our head that just hold us back and we think about the future we fear the future we're afraid of the future we have anxiety and we also <laughs> feel guilty about not doing stuff in the past and the way that you deal with it is you say what can i do right now in the present to move forward move my business right. forward? stop fearing right. the future Right. And you know, if you look at your business analytics, you're going to see like little downticks. You're not going to see this, like this big, long downturn. You're going to see like a little tick. Watch your ticks. Watch them. Hold on to them. Make adjustments, but don't freeze. And you're going to see the result you want for sure. Especially in Connecticut here, you have to watch your ticks. You know? Uh, yes. 
Yes. You, you can't disease. have those ticks, you know, no. especially in the summer. <laughs> exactly. That's our resource this rate week. It's called Fulfilled, the passion and provision strategy for building a business with profit, purpose, and legacy. Catherine Michael Redmond. I think they should get credit that they worked together. That was really the biggest deal takeaway for me. Um, but you know what? If you need a strategy for running a stable business that makes money and allows you to kind of sleep well at night, this is all the stuff that we've been talking about. They have put together a really good framework, which offers you the dream with the means of implementation. So it's a good book. I like I like the it's it's a little heavy. Yeah. Well, it, it has my favorite part, which is there are no magic pills or silver bullets. I know. Okay. I know. Now, everybody buys a book thinking, oh, it's going to give me the secret to running a great business. It's like, no, no, it's just hard work. It's just it, what they do is promise transformation with hard work and patience. And it unpacks the six core areas of business and offers a clear plan for overcoming the challenges you're going to face moving forward. Yeah. And, and you know what, it's a roadmap, follow it. You're going to be happy. You'll get nuggets out of this one. I like it. Anyway, that's it for this week. Reach out to me at newrenew.com and you can reach rich at richg.com. And thanks to our producer, Richard Scalzo. Have an unbelievable week and catch you later. 